Yo, Philly 254 living life, back at it. So what do we have on the menu today? Well, it's pretty simple. You got your Steam Deck, you got your games, but you don't have any way of recording your games. Put it on YouTube or TikToks so or whatever it is you want to do. Well, right now we're going to talk about that. How to record your gameplay without any need of a capture card or anything else. All you need is your Steam Deck. But before we get into that video, real quick, if you like any more Steam Deck news, accessory reviews, any how-tos or walkthroughs, cloud gamings, walkthroughs and games or whatnot, please like and subscribe. Do your due diligence. Let's get into the video. All right, off top, I'll be honest with you, when I recorded this, I forgot one crucial part, and that's turning on the developer mode. In order to do that, you gotta go to settings, go to system, and click on enable developer mode. Once you've enabled developer mode, you're in there like swimwear. Now you're already gonna be in settings from that from that part. And what you wanna do is scroll down to the very bottom and you're gonna you're gonna click on where it says developer mode. From there, you're gonna scroll down, and you're gonna look for turn on CF remote debugging. Once that's turned on, now mine mine is already on, obviously, because I'm recording this. I've already installed all this, but you wanna turn yours on. Once that's recorded, you're gonna go to desktop mode. Unfortunately, I could not record desktop mode. Stink, this, the recapture software apparently is does not like desktop mode whatsoever. So what you're gonna do is go to desktop mode. You're gonna go to the discovery store. You're gonna search and install crankshaft. Once you install that, you're gonna go ahead and launch crankshaft. Now, one thing I do like to do personally is go to the Steam, the actual Steam application from within the desktop mode and add it to my gaming mode. What you can do that is just clicking on games, add non-steam games, select crankshaft, and there you go, it's there. After that, you wanna go back to the gaming mode. Once in gaming mode, you're gonna click that steam button. From there, you're gonna say new option, it's gonna say plugins. You're gonna click on plugins. At the very top, you're gonna see crankshaft settings. From there, you can make a few changes. You can make sure crankshaft auto starts whenever you start the steam deck or whatnot. That's cool and whatnot. But the main thing we're here for is that part where it says get plugins. You click on get plugins and you scroll down a little bit. We're looking for something called recapture. It's gonna be kind of towards the bottom. So you're gonna scroll on down, scroll on down, go look for it. It's in alphabetical order. Or I think it is, yeah, it is. And then you're gonna click on going click on install. Mine has already says installed already because I've like I said, I'm recording this using this, right? So you're gonna click on install. Once it's installed, you're done. You're in there. So the one thing I will say is sometimes when recording, there's been a bit of an issue. Every now and then, at the very end of the recording, it won't catch the, it'll say aired out. Didn't record a damn thing. So I will say that. But for the most part, you're in there like swimwear. Now you can find your recordings in a desktop mode and it tells you right there, home deck videos were captured. For some reason, mine was technically technically at home videos for capture, but just FYI, that's where you can find it. Put an external drive or USB-C drive. Make sure you have a, a USB-C hub or a, your dock or whatnot so you can connect those things to your Steam Deck. And then you can take those and just put it on to a regular PC and do all the editing you need to do. But if you like more information like this, more videos, talk about Steam Deck and cloud gaming. And as always, like and subscribe. Do your due diligence. And we out.